Hey guys, Antonio here with another video on Crucial Conversations. Today we're going to be talking about what is a crucial conversation. And guys, before we get started, smash that subscribe button down low. Follow along with more videos like this. Send straight to your inbox every single week. Let's get started. What's a crucial conversation, you ask, huh? It is one where opinions vary greatly. I'm Republican, you're Democrat. We're trying to talk about our political opinions. It's not going to go well. Stakes are high. Results in the situation actually matter. You're trying to get a job, right? One where you need this amazing raise that'll help you get to the next level. You're trying to land a sale. Something where the stakes are very, very high, where you'll get a lot of commission from. The emotions run strong in the future of your relationship with your friend or future of a relationship with your wife or husband for the last 30 years may be on the brinks and this conversation may take a toll on that person. Let's take a look at an example of how emotions can come into a conversation and what a crucial conversation may look like. Hey Antonio, do you think that I look fat in this dress? Um, I would say that you don't look skinny. <laughs> this is why I never wanted to go out with you in the first place. God! So, that's a clear example of what a crucial conversation is, and you probably have these pretty often, right? Because you have so many relationships in your life, so many things you need to get done in your life, you probably run into these scenarios often enough that you need to learn how to handle them. And there's three ways that we can go about handling them. First is we can avoid it, right? Avoiding it. What do you think that gets done? What that ends up happening doing if you avoid it is you let the conversation and the underlying problem continue to build in the background, right? And what ends up happening there is that the problem never gets solved and it just gets greater and greater and greater. And eventually it comes down to a crucial conversation. So avoiding it's not really a long-term solution. Handling poorly. This is usually what ends up happening is because you don't know how to handle the situation. And then the third reason is handling it well. What happens if you handle it well? You may have a better relationship with your significant other, with a friend. You might have a new job, a new promotion. You may have closed a brand new sale. You, who knows? But shouldn't you get this part handled? So we cannot think rationally and that is the main reason why we can't do well in these crucial conversations. We're meant to think irrationally during this time, and we need to train ourselves to think rationally. It is a key skill to be able to skillfully address emotional problems and political issues that are very, very risky, that may offend other people. And if you can skillfully address these without offending the other person and coming to a solution, then you have a very, very awesome skill that most people in the world do not have. So pay attention to these videos, guys, and arguments that usually end up happening that come from crucial conversations end up affecting your relationships with your significant others, family members, and friends. And if you want to have an awesome life, you usually have to have awesome relationships with people that you communicate with. So I hope you take this into consideration that this is an important skill and follow along with this video series to hope you to help you become better at handling these crucial conversations and become a master by the end of this playlist guys please make sure to check me out on uh, patreon please support me if you can follow me on social media facebook twitter instagram i'm going to leave a link in the description down below for you to purchase a copy of this book on amazon and remember that a chapter a day allows for success to make way i will catch you guys in the next one peace